suppose that variance of y naught is equal to zero, so you will get this thing: variance of y t is equal to rho power 2t sigma square plus rho power 2t minus 4 sigma square plus uh, up to so on rho square sigma square plus last is sigma square. What is this thing? Uh, let me elaborate it further. Okay, so this is equal to basically uh, if I take sigma square common, I will get here is variance of y t is equal to sigma square into rho power 2 t plus rho power 2 t minus 2 plus up to so on rho square plus 1. What is this thing? This is called geometric series. Okay, geometric series. You might have studied in your FSC. You have a plus a r plus a r square plus up to so on. Here a is equal to one, and r square is equal to sigma square. So the r is equal to sigma square. Okay. What is the sum of geometric series? What is sum of this series? This is equal to a into one minus r square divided by one minus r. Sorry, no, this is this is not r square. This is r power n, last term. A into one minus r power n divided by one minus r. So r is here sigma square. And n is equal to t, so you will get this thing. Variance of y t is equal to one into one minus rho power two t divided by one minus rho square. Okay. Now what will happen? You have three possible options. The option one is Sigma is equal to one. Sigma is less than one. So, sorry, this rho is less than one, and rho is greater than one. Now look, if rho is less than one, then then what will happen? Suppose rho is less than one. Rho is less than one. What will happen? Say rho is equal to zero point eight. What will be rho square? What is square of zero point eight? This is 0.64. What is rho cube? Again, multiply this way. This this will become 0.216. Right? And if you take rho power four, it will decrease further. So as t goes to infinity, the rho power t will converge to Zero. In that case, what will happen with this, this variance term? So, so variance of y t will become equal to one minus zero divided by one minus rho square. Okay. Is this sorry? Here it was sigma square as well into sigma square. Uh, if t goes to infinity and rho is less than one, ठीक है absolute value of rho. So this is equal to sigma square over one minus rho square. This is independent of t. This thing is. Independent of t, this means this is satisfying the second property of stationarity. 
okay. This is satisfying the set second property of stationarity. So this might be termed as stationary, right? Okay, so uh, it could be stationary. But what happens if you have rho is greater than one? Then what will happen? What will happen if rho is greater than one? If rho is greater than one, what will happen? So say, say this is equal to two. Then rho square is equal to four. Rho cube is equal to eight. And rho power four is equal to 64. Am I right? 32, sorry. 16 and then 32 and so on. It is increasing very fastly. Then the formula, this, in this formula, rho power 2t will not finish. Okay. Then variance of yt is equal to 1 minus rho power 2t divided by 1 minus rho square into sigma square. So this term will increase very fastly, rho power 2t. will go to infinity as rho goes as t goes to infinity this is not reducing so so you cannot eliminate the term t from this analysis okay so uh, the variance of yt is not independent of t is not independent of t. This case is not stationary. This case is not stationary. Okay? Okay. So, clear. If you have rho less than 1, you might have stationarity. Uh, might have, I, I am saying might have because the third property is covariance. You have to check the covariance as well and then you will verify that there is really stationarity. But it's very clear that if you have rho greater than one, then there is no stationarity. Now there is third option as well. What will happen if rho is exactly equal to one? Okay. So uh, let me see. If rho is exactly equal to 1, then what will happen? Then this is 1 minus 1, 0. This format will not work. Right? So put this rho equal to 1 in this thing. You will have variance of yt is equal to sigma square into 1 plus 1 plus up to so on 1 plus 1. How many times? This is t times into sigma square. This is equal to, sorry, sigma square, I have written it before. This becomes t, t sigma square. Now what happened? The variance of yt is not independent of t. We cannot eliminate t. In this case, the series is not stationary, right? So the T is there. This series is not stationary.
अंडरस्टैंड बस जी नो नाउ नाउ वी विल डू दी विल सी द सीरीज इन कंप्यूटर एंड यू विल फाइंड इट इंटरेस्टिंग बट सिंपल इज दैट इफ रो लेस देन वन दिस इज स्टेशनरी इफ रो इज इक्वल टू वन और इफ रो इज ग्रेटर देन वन these two cases are non stationary and these two cases are having different names this is called unit root and this is called explosive why this is explosive because the variance will increase very fastly okay as as i have told this 2 4 8 16 20 32 and then 64 128 256 1 and so on it will increase very fastly right this is called explosive the other two cases are rho less than 1 in that case you might have stationarity and rho equal to 1 that will lead you to t times sigma square and that is called unit root 